Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Today in this short video lecture, I will guide you practically for extra steel rods in the junction between beam and column, especially on L by 4 to resist negative bending moment. So what is the proper design? So let me show you. As you can see guys here, this is RCC top beam, our floor beam, depth is 14 inches, width is 9 inches. Now guys you can see here, they provided two extra steel rods to the distance of L by 4. As you can see guys this is the center line for this column. You can see to the distance of L by 4 to resist negative bending moment they provided extra steel rods. Instead of this extra steel rods they can provide bent up bar or crank bar to resist negative bending moment but this is very important. So where we provide extra steel rods so here we should provide stirrup spacing closely compared to its mat as you can see guys the spacing is about 7 inches so this is not proper and dia of stirrup is 8 millimeter which is okay but if you see guys hooks are bent on 90 degrees so this is also one of the big mistakes you can see now guys you can see also the other steel rod uh, from the other way now guys you can see this is also the junction so to the distance of l by 4 they provided but they provided maximum so no problem but it should be provided on l by 4 distance they wasted uh, some steel here so it should be provided on l by 4 where l is the spacing between two columns guys you can see here clearly you can see I think it was uh, good if they provided overall but no problem they did to the distance of L by 4 but not L by 4 so this is full you can say. Look at here guys. So in this practical video you are able to learn how to provide extra steel rods. And the stirrup spacing is not okay according to the structure load as well as uh, you can see guys hooks are bent on 90 degree which is not proper according to the steel structural drawing now guys you can see also they did not provide here they will provide because it's in construction as you can see guys this is also a floor beam here they should provide development length because this is the end of the beam guys you can see clearly they provided two extra steel rods tire is 12 millimeter spacing is not okay spacing should be from 100 to 150 mm or you can say from 4 to 6 inches as you can see here so here the spacing is about 10 inches 10 to 11 inches they kept the spacing of stirrups which is not okay also it's hooks Hooks length should not be less than 3 inches or 10D, 9D you can use. Guys, you can see. Depth of the beam is 14 inches, width is 9 inches. Two steel rods, sorry, three steel rods at the bottom, two at the top. Guys, you can see they did not provide development length for this beam. To make a good bond between steel and concrete, development length should be bind with column. Unfortunately, they didn't. Guys, you can see. This is under construction. They will provide uh, steel rods on this uh, shuttering, especially main bars, distribution bars. Guys, you can see they will provide also extra steel rods in this place on both directions. Spacing of stirrups are not okay as you can see I am recording more videos on this site to guide you for more details especially for steel reinforcement. 
of this construction site. Hope this video can help you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.